Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Only one click away, my friends. One second of your life. Let's try to get 500 likes in this video. YouTube algorithm is, is a mess at the moment. I need any kind of help I can get from you, my friends. All right. You are, not, you are not here for likes. You are here for football, right? So let's uh, start by the, the first topic here in the Chelsea community. Uh, Chelsea are pushing. Chelsea are pushing. It's not over until it's over. So from G uh, Ben Jacobs, Chelsea will advance their pursuit uh, of Moises Caicedo over the coming weeks. Brighton will let Caicedo leave. This was clear when he extended um he extended his contract basically that's what he means here it's going to take around 70 million guaranteed plus 10 million in add-ons which is still a good price because last summer remember not last summer last january they actually refused 75 million from arsenal probably the payment structure was different but arsenal were ready to pay 75 million Okay, so let's go. I can't even talk. 70 million guaranteed please, uh, plus 10 million add-ons. Caicedo fully open to the move, even without European football. So for people who've been saying that Chelsea are not in the Champions League and they are not attractive anymore, Arsenal are going to beat them, blah, blah, blah. Listen, we're still Chelsea and we can still attract so many big names it's only one season that we we are going to be without european football i hope so <laughs> you never know but yeah he's gonna get uh, a good salary he's gonna play the best football under poch poch and then uh we go from there all right let me read the the entire th uh, thread here from mr ben jacobs those close to Caicedo indicate nothing is imminent yet despite talks ongoing. Arsenal focused on Declan Rice right now, despite bidding for Caicedo in January and planning for this summer with, uh, with him on their list as per blah, 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 blah. So interest has cooled. So some sources are saying that Arsenal completely withdrew from uh, from Moises Caicedo, leaving Chelsea an open bar. Go there. You don't have to pay anything. Get there. <laughs> Literally, Chelsea chances of lending rice are being uh, downplayed by multiple sources. Uh, Chelsea do have a long standing interest in him, but the club are working on other priority as it stands so things are changing people many reports many conflicting reports happening uh all over internet at the moment and uh, let's wait wait and see what's gonna happen all right let's continue here reading from different sources fabrizio romano chelsea are working hard you, you heard me hard <laughs> on Moises Caicedo deal. Talks have been taking place for weeks. Nothing done yet. It has always been Chelsea front runners despite rumor of Arsenal bid in the last few weeks. Arsenal focus remains on Declan Rice and Kai Harvard. More to follow. So, oh my goodness. Chelsea are working very hard. The problem I have with this one is they are trying to get Levi Cowell. So we give you Caicedo, you give us Levi Cowell. They try to lowball us, giving us 40 million on Levi Cowell while asking for more than 70 million on Caicedo. Everybody is trying to, to bully Chelsea in this transfer window because they know Chelsea have to sell until june the 30th they have no choice but to sell so everybody tried to take advantage of the situation 
Declan Rice, what's going on with Declan Rice? Okay, people, so Declan Rice here. Chelsea have told West Ham to wait over Declan Rice as they move on players. Uh, they move on players first. So apparently, uh, Chelsea are also considering Declan Rice. For years, I've been asking for Declan Rice to sign for Chelsea. When you sign Declan Rice, you have the captain. You have a leader, you know, a talking leader, <laughs> a vocal leader, somebody who can talk, you know, who can, who, can, who can encourage the troops to go and continue fighting. So in Declan Rice, you got a versatile player and you also got a captain material everything on this brother but chelsea online fans are gonna bring a lot of theories because of his you know past with uh, the academy you know with chelsea academy and we know how much we hate them english academy all right so this one hasn't been confirmed yet by other sources like fabrizio but it's not that much you know it's not like heating up or you know trending or anything but Chelsea have an interest what if there's a big what if here we go and hijack Declan Rice and then Moises Caicedo the same time from Arsenal this is Chelsea we might say you know what forget it forget about the financial fair play let's go and ruin Arsenal life one more time <laughs> let's hijack two of their target bam bam at Chelsea Football Club Financial fair play, you can give us a ban for two years. We don't care because we already have everybody that we want it in our team. We can pay a fee. We're going to find a loophole. <laughs> How about that? Because people tend to mention fair, financial fair play without knowing the details about the financial play. Chelsea can still spend a lot of money because of what happened. The sale of the club that the club couldn't function they didn't sell anything for month and month they 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 can they can they can f uh, file for extension people don't know people just know about black or white or oh, financial fair play blah, 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 blah. what that even means nobody knows if you go to the details you can find that chelsea can always find a way around it let's continue here <laughs> okay let me continue reporting on chelsea so the news about rice is hit it's just a, it's it's just a low arsenal are in advanced talk he's out there number one priority but also i heard that manchester united are looking at that Manchester City are looking at the situation. So Arsenal, if you want Declan Rice, you have to rush. You have to get it done now because many clubs are jumping into the the situation. Or it could be, it could be, uh, West Ham leaking some information so they can they can have some kind of virtual bidding war so they can get as much money as they can. You know what I mean? And ha and also, uh, Rice Camp can link some information there so they can get the better deal for their client. So there are so many things happening behind closed doors when it comes to transfers. So Arsenal, you have to do it now or you have nobody to blame. Otherwise, Chelsea are going to hijack both of them. <laughs> Declan Rice and Moises Caicedo. What? that is gonna be just imagine right imagine just that the banter the bragging right and everything oh my goodness me it's gonna be in another level okay my people so you see here Rhys James is walking during his vacation and let's hope that he comes back fit and don't get injured often. <laughs> All right. Uh, without uh, uh, taking all your time here, 
Andre Onana is another guy that apparently Manchester United is his preferred destination, regardless of what Chelsea are doing, trying to make deals uh, with Inter Milan for Andre Onana, uh, Kalidu Kulibali, and Romelu Lukaku. But according to some report, it's not confirmed yet, he will prefer to join uh, Manchester United instead of Chelsea. And that makes sense because they are in the Champions League. They can pay him even more money. And they are more ready to win than Chelsea in this current moment. You know, Chelsea is a brand new team, a young team that need to build from scratches. So probably he doesn't want to risk and wait for a long time of, you know, rebuilding the team. He want to go and try to win something. So let's wait and see um, what's going to happen. But it looks like Onana prefers to go to Manchester United.